Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So yesterday I talked about what emotional abuse is and the 10 tips or signs to look out for. Today I'm going to talk about the long-term effects that it has on you staying in an abusive relationship. So stay tuned. All right, fam. So Thank you for coming back. If you have not watched the video from yesterday, depending on when you are watching this series, definitely go ahead and click the link in the description box below because you will have the playlist there. And if you are watching this video now, okay, then um, <laughs> uh, the video from yesterday, which is defining what emotional abuse is and the tip tips to see if you are in an emotional abusive relationship, that link is down below. So again, today I'm going to describe and discuss the long-term effects of staying in an abusive relationship. Now, I only have three major things to break down. All right, fam, so staying in an abusive relationship can actually lead to a multitude of different things. And I want to address the physical things that you could be feeling in your body, such as migraines, arthritis, where you're having those body pains, fibromyalgia, which is body pains, aches, of course, stress. It can lead to mental health disorders such as depression or PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety. And of course, you may even start to abuse drugs and alcohol. And then not to mention, you may, after you get out of this, start to think about the state that you're in and the, the shame and guilt that's attached to this. And maybe you can start to be irresponsible sexually and contract an STD. And for you ladies out there, of course, the unwanted pregnancies can also occur as well. I want you to also understand that being in an abusive emotional relationship is just as bad as being in an abusive physical relationship. Um, being an emotional, being in an emotional abusive relationship can actually lead to insomnia, fibromyalgia, anxiety. I already mentioned guilt, shame. All of those things are playing a part in, you know, your self worth, in your confidence, in your self esteem, and all of those things are bringing being broken down the longer that you stay in an abusive relationship. In this case, specifically, emotional abusive relationship. Your self esteem is waning. Your confidence is tanking. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling ashamed. And just to get away from it all, you start to do some of these bad behaviors. As much as you don't want to deal with it, this is your way of dealing with it. You can also have suicidal ideations, thoughts, and even attempt to kill yourself the longer that you stay in this type of relationship. You can start or continue to become an underachiever, just completely underachiever. And then finally, you'll be extremely dependent on your abuser, extremely dependent on your abuser. And the term that they have for that is the Stockholm Syndrome. So the Stockholm Syndrome is also common in long-term abusive situations. In, in the Stockholm Syndrome, the victim is so terrified of the abuser that the victim overly identifies and becomes bonded with the abuser in an attempt to stop the abuse. The victim will even defend their abuser and their emotionally abusive actions. So there's an actual term for this when you start to defend what your emotional abuser is doing to you. And it's because you become so attached to them. You become so dependent on them. They even use the word extremely dependent on your abuser. And so you don't want to have to go through any of these things. The longer that you stay in this type of relationship, the more harm it is going to cost to you 
and especially if you have children, you're going to be passing this down general, generationally. And they are going to feel and think that this is the way to get and be shown love. And it's not. This is not healthy in any relationship. You want to choose a partner that is going to absolutely love you, be honest with you, respect you, treat you as much as an equal as possible. Let you have your say. Let you choose your family, choose your friends, and not alienate you, not become overly jealous. No, none of those things are healthy in a relationship. And so if this is something that you are or have experienced, it now is the time to take back control over your life. Now is the time for you to take control back over your mind. Now is the time to work on your self-worth. Now is the time to work on your confidence. Now is the time to build up your self-esteem. Because you are worthy and you deserve to be in a healthy romantic relationship. And if you need help, stay tuned for the 800 number. Because someone at the abuse center can get you the help that you need. They can give you a plan and a strategy to get out of that relationship where you feel safe afterwards and can work on you and your self-esteem and building up your confidence and understanding and realizing your self-worth.